A lot of gaming setups you see online cost tens of thousands of dollars and are compiled of years of upgrading gear. Well, almost every setup starts at the same spot. You're gaming on a console with a cheap TV and a really bad chair just dreaming of the day you can upgrade. Well, it doesn't have to be like that. You can actually build a pretty solid setup for not that much money. And today I'm showing you that with the help of AliExpress sponsoring this video. With a budget of $500, I set out to build the best setup possible. And all of this is what I got. So now let's build the setup. First up, every good setup starts with a desk. And I got this L-shaped one for $58. So let's start building. All right, this thing is almost set up. I just have to flip it over and do a couple more things. Now you're supposed to use two people to do this. So hopefully I don't break it. And bam, just like that, the desk is done. Dude, this thing is actually crazy for being under $60. Look, it has a nice carbon fiber finish on top. It comes with this built-in monitorizer. It's not like wobbly at all because it actually has so much bracing on it. Overall, I'm definitely happy with it. So next is one of the most important parts of any setup the monitor. Making sure your monitor is high quality and has a high refresh rate will make gaming so much more enjoyable. And that's why I spent over 25% of the total setup's budget on just this monitor. This is a 1440p 144 hertz monitor. But just because it's the most expensive part of the setup doesn't mean it's actually that much money. Like it's only $140, which for a monitor with these specs is actually kind of crazy. So the monitor and desk are officially set up and it's looking pretty good. But we still have a lot more to do including adding our peripherals, lights, other accessories. Like we're not even close to being done yet. The next thing I need at my setup is a chair and I found this GT Racing one for $109. I don't usually like gaming style chairs, but I know GT Racing is a super popular brand. So to find one that fits in my $500 budget range was super close. So now let's get this thing built. All right, just one more thing and the chair is done. So we'll put the head pillow on. And bang, the chair is done. Nice, dude, it's looking sick so far. So before I actually get to my peripherals and accessories and stuff, I have to have an actual system to game on. But obviously I'm not gonna be able to get a whole console or PC to fit in the $500 budget with all this other stuff. So I'm just gonna set up my PS5 that I've already had. There's the PS5 setup, and I didn't even realize I have the black shell on it, so it looks so clean in this setup. So now it's time for peripherals, and I got some sick ones. I got this huge extended mouse pad with this cool design that's gonna fit this setup's theme perfectly. And this thing was only $8, which is so crazy. I have the red on the chair. There's a red trim on the outline of the desk. Behind the monitor is red. And now we have an extended red design mouse pad. Oh, that actually looks so sick. I still can't believe this thing was $8. Like it looks and feels like my other ones that are almost 50. But if you're wondering why I'd get a mouse pad for console gaming, it's because I got a keyboard and mouse as well. A lot of console players are now playing console on keyboard and mouse. So first I got the 60% mechanical keyboard for $26. And it's actually pretty sick. It has the RGB, it has the clicky switches. Like this is a fully proper mechanical keyboard. Then I'm gonna pair it with this mouse, the Logitech G502 Hero. Which is actually like a pretty popular mouse, but I paid $25 for it versus the usual $45 that it Call. And this is proper, dude. It comes with all the weights and everything. All I had to do was plug these into the PS5, and now I can run mouse and keyboard on console. Dude, I'm actually surprised at how well this is turning out, and I'm not even done yet. But for the times where I don't want to play mouse and keyboard, I picked up this Pro PS5 controller. This thing was $32. It even has two back buttons on it. And I'll be playing Fortnite on it later in this video to see if it's any good, but first I have to finish the setup. And right now, there's only audio coming out of the monitor. So I had to find a good headset, and we're actually still way way under budget. So I went with a pretty decent headset. It's not expensive, it's still only $38. But it's a pretty popular one from Razer. And bang, there they are. So they of course come with a mic on them. But those actually look pretty sick. They're super clean. And they're comfortable, they block out noise well. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. So even after all of this, I still had some money in the budget. So I decided I wanna try to make the setup look as cool as possible. So I got this RGB headset stand. And I also got two things of RGB strips. I figured I could put this small one behind this monitor. So let's do that first. Oh, yes, sir, bro. There we go. Now I have this pack, which is way longer to go around the bottom of the desk. And honestly, dude, I think the ones behind my monitor were like a dollar, and these ones were like four dollars. Pretty wild. 
Hey, let's go. We don't have to only do red either. I mean, I could do like a bunch of colors. We could make this place a disco party if we wanted to. And for the final accessory of the $500 setup, we have the headphone stand. This thing lights up, it can change colors. I can make it red to fit in with the rest of the setup's theme. And just like that, the setup is officially done. Oh wow, dude, turns out this is actually a PS4 controller. So unfortunately, I can't use it at this setup, but I mean, it still looks pretty sick. All right, bro, let's play some Fortnite. Yo, this actually feels better than I thought it would. Holy. Yo, since when was console moving like this? Genuinely, this setup feels amazing. Like, my desk isn't shaking, the keyboard and mouse feel great. Even playing mouse and keyboard on the console doesn't feel that bad. Like, bro, I'm pretty impressed. AliExpress always has deals going on, so you might even be able to get this stuff cheaper than I got it. Like if you use code all on AE, you can get an extra $20 off on any purchase over $100 until September 24th. And on top of that, their A2A promotion is running until August 28th with huge discounts. So make sure you use the links in my description to check it out, and thanks so much for watching. Oh my god.